What's going on, everybody? Black Reality TV, man. Back at y'all with another one, man. I want to give you guys my quick thoughts on this whole Tyron Lu uh, situation that um, he's involved in. And I'm going to throw in LeBron James in this as well. So, um, Tyron Lu um, has been going through some health problems this season. I'm not sure if it's been lingering just for this season or he's had a history of health problems they said this is the third time this season that he couldn't make it or couldn't finish a particular game or couldn't make it with the team whatever he's having um bad chest pains and other problems that's been uh going on with him as well now i'm seeing a a, a angle where people are trying to use lebron james um, you see LeBron James recently against the Portland Trailblazers get into it with Tyron Lue at the end of the bench. Um, we all know LeBron James' history as far as um, not having the best relationship with um, head coaches. And uh, it was reportedly rumors when he was with the Miami Heat that he wanted uh, Eric Spoelstra fired. Um, the management said, pump the brakes. We're not going to do that. Just countless other incidents with head coaches, right? But I just think it's really silly. And I, I cannot believe certain people are actually going this route that LeBron James is somehow responsible for Tyron Lue's well-being. <laughs> Listen, being a player, being a, a, a coach, a, a GM, etc., those playing sports and being around the guys every day and trying to meet expectations is a very stressful thing. But to blame health reasons on a particular person, I just I think to be I'm gonna keep it one thousand with you. I think that is completely disgusting to blame a individual. Why is it? Why is it? Why can it not just be the team? If you want to, why does it have to be pointed towards an individual player? How do we not know that Tyron Lu has had a history? We don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody really knows. We're not in these people's day-to-day lives. Only thing we can go off is hearsay and, and read articles that a lot of them are not true. But how come no one was saying last year when... um? Steve Kerr was out and he missed a lot of the season and he um, also missed a lot of the postseason and um, Mike Brown took over. How come no one was blaming any other other? How come no one was blaming Kevin Durant or let's say blaming Steph Curry or Klay Thompson or Draymond Green? How come nobody was blaming those players in particular because those are the main key guys why Steve Kerr was out? They're using that because it's a hidden fact that a lot of people do not like LeBron James and it has nothing to do with basketball. I totally believe it and I think anybody that says that is a, is a liar if it doesn't have anything to do with that. Now, I'm not saying that's the case for all people, but it is that is a, a case for most people. You're trying to find a way to shift blame towards him for something that I believe is just absolutely ridiculous to blame somebody's health reasons on an individual player. And like I said before, I hear nobody blaming Draymond. Draymond Green was getting a lot of technicals. Okay. The team in general, they have high expectations. They they choked a 3-1 series lead in the NBA Finals, the first team to ever do that in NBA history. They added KD. It was a lot of pressure. How come, like I said, how come nobody came on here and was saying that it was certain players on the team that was causing uh, Steve Kerr to go through these problems that he's going through? They didn't do it. Let me give you another one. Um, we all know the relationship between Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Yeah, they won on the court. Yeah, they won six championships together. They didn't have the best relationship. That's well documented. How come nobody was saying when 
um, Scottie Pippen didn't play, I believe it was in Game 7 in, uh, I guess it was the Eastern Conference Finals against Detroit Pistons when he had the migraine. How come no one blamed Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan was the reason why Scottie Pippen didn't play. Or we could flip it back around when Michael Jordan had the flu and he played in the finals against Utah. How come nobody didn't blame Scottie Pippen? He said, see, Scottie Pippen calls him, calls Michael Jordan had a flu. See how silly that is? That's very, very silly that, to, to blame a, a health reason on an individual person. Because you see altercations on the sideline or behind the scenes, they, uh, they, they don't have the best relationship in the world. It, to me, I'm, I just got to be honest with you. It's just a, it's a, it's an angle for someone to just go after somebody they truly just don't like, and it has nothing to do with basketball. I've never heard no shit like this where you will blame an individual person for someone's ill well-being. I tell me what y'all guys think. I'm out.